What's cooking? The nation's food, wine, restaurant, travel, and entertainment show. It's the weekend edition. Michael Horn and Paul Stern. Hey, been watching the uh, Late Show with David Letterman uh, lately. I have been, and uh, it's every year about this time. Uh, the big honor from Sports Illustrated, and it's the uh, Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Cover Girl Award. And the winner of the 2010 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Cover Girl is the incredible Brooklyn Decker. She's with us. Brooklyn Decker, welcome to the broadcast. Hi, thank you for having me. We're excited for you. How do you feel? It's amazing. It's it's so wonderful. You know, uh, I, I've been shooting with them for five years, so to get the cover is just such an honor. In my world, it's like winning the Super Bowl. You have such a great personality, and you're obviously beautiful, but there's a story behind this. You know, people say, you know, uh, Schwab's department store, Lana Turner, was discovered there. You were sort of discovered in a shopping mall. Can you tell us the story? I was. I was. I actually, another girl approached me thinking that she recognized me from modeling. Turns out we actually ran track at opposing high schools, but... I started young and got really lucky and moved to New York after I graduated high school from North Carolina. Wow. And you've uh, been in uh, Elle magazine, GQ, Glamour, and of course now the swimsuit issue. Is the uh, Sports Illustrated swimsuit issue out now? It is. It is on stands now. And it is, um, yeah, it was just such, such an honor to, to be a part of that. Hey, isn't the swimsuit issue like uh, kind of like, uh, like a big time, like, uh, like the marquee, like uh, Take edition. It in, Paul, you get it's, excited about it, aren't it, you? It, 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 it's the one that, like, kind of think Sports Illustrated kind of like banks on to be like their biggest seller, isn't it? Like each and every year. Yes, there's there's one a year, so it's it's definitely a rarity. And uh, 20 girls shoot, and you get, you know, it's it's a secret who gets selected, who gets on the cover, where you're shooting. So it's it's all very top secret and exciting when it comes out. So you don't know if you're going to be the cover girl then? Not until the day before. Oh, wow. wow. So, so what does that feel like? After you do, is there like a competition between all of you when you're shooting the different swimsuits, thinking like, I think I can nail this or whatever? Or are you all kind of uh, comrades in this thing? No, we're all friends. I mean, eventually we all end up working together a lot. And actually the girls have been around each other in the business for years, so we're actually all very encouraging of one another. And um, there's only a few girls, so eventually they all end up getting the cover. It's just a matter of when. <laughs> so, how, so how do you do? What's your tip? I mean, obviously all of you look great and incredible and it's uh, yeah. summertime and it's hot and the swimsuits are out and they're hot looking beautiful women uh -huh. and so how do you do it how do you look the best how do you get everything going to, to, to make you look like the hottest person on the beach well being in a bikini can be incredibly intimidating for yes. someone even someone like me who where it's my job it's very intimidating and um the last thing you want to worry about is having any stubble on your legs so it's all about being really oh. smooth when you're showing off your legs and i've actually teamed up with Venus Embrace to bring everyone the bikini kit, which includes a Venus Embrace razor, a trimmer, and bikini lotion. So it's all about staying silky smooth for summer. And, you know, we've been bundled up all winter, so now girls want to show their legs, wear their summery dresses, and really that's the way to kick off summers with the bikini kit. So let me ask you a question, Brooklyn Decker. You are the uh, 2010 uh, Sports Low Stage Swimsuit uh, uh, winner, of Cover Girl winner. Stubble is okay for a gentleman's face, correct? Right, yes. That's kind of sexy, right? Yeah, I think it's very, yes, I think it's very attractive. But, you know, I like a smooth shaven guy as well, but that's probably the only place anyone can get away with stubble, in my opinion. And not on the, the beautiful woman's legs. You do not, not want stubble. Not legs. No, it's, especially when, I mean, we're girls. We have the makeup artist ribbon lotion on. You have your sunscreen, your bronzer, all that for getting ready for a shoot. So the last thing you want is people to be cutting themselves on your leg hair. <laughs> oh, hold on a second. You have makeup artist rubbing lotion on? Where do we apply yeah. for that job? I, we like makeup, don't we, Paul? Well, you see, maybe you can, maybe you can do it. And we could be the stubble checker. So there is such a thing seriously as this from Venus Embrace. It's a bikini kit, seriously. A bikini kit, yes, and it's really created. The whole razor is created for women. It has five blades, which I think a lot of guys' razors do as well. And it's, it's proven to be the most effective shave for a woman. So you know how it is. You want to snuggle up to your girl in the summer. You want her to be silky smooth, and plus it helps women feel confident. So. The Venus Bikini Kit really is, it really exists, and it really does work. I use it myself for shoots. Now, what about toes? Because for women, I know it's a big deal, but I know for guys, I look down there sometimes and think, oh, brother, oh better get God. into the old chopping block. Well, you you uh, start going out, if you have the people look at your feet and they look at your hands, right? Uh, yeah, you know what, they do, actually. And the cool thing about summer, well, I know guys can't wear nail polish, but girls, you can kind of have fun with your toenail polish or your nail polish. I mean, you can kind of experiment with different colors and different trends. But, uh, yeah, I think it's definitely important to stay groomed with the hands and the feet for both men and women. It's very key, especially for men. I like Are to you dating women with hairy toes, Mike? No, but I get the paper yeah. cutter out there, and I just sort of chop the toenails off so that they because they get <gasps> large in the summer and the winter. I think so. Boy, I hate it. I hate it. me out as we speak. Oh, I'm sorry, Brooklyn Decker. I'm very sorry. But I just have to be honest. You are the true bikini goddess. Tell us about the outfit you wore for the cover. What did we, what did we see there? Well, the bikinis, 
of course, but, but sort of falling off bikinis. The cover was actually, I mean, everything was completely covered in Sports Illustrated, although Sexy does try to keep it very classy. But um, my bikini top was actually over my shoulder, and my arms sort of served as a bikini top. And I did have a bright yellow bikini bottom on. So wow. So very covered, but, you know, it's Sports Illustrated, so you got to push the envelope a little. You have to push a little. You're married to, like, a tennis star or something, aren't you? I am, yes, yes. My husband plays tennis. Andy, right? Yes, exactly. Yes. Yeah. And so, and you now since you've been doing modeling, have you been uh, as a TV show or a movie or something you got coming out? Yeah, I um, I just filmed my first movie uh, about two weeks ago, and it actually doesn't come out until February, but it was my first big movie, and so hopefully that'll be the next the next side to my career. Now you've only been doing this for five years, but it seems like I mean you're very advanced on this. You're really moving up the top. What were you doing before you were modeling? I was in high school. I was a high school student. Um, I graduated in 2005 and moved to New York. So it's all been a bit of a whirlwind. The first couple of years were very hard work. I definitely had a, you know, I lived in the model apartment with eight Brazilians and, you know, two bedrooms, and I went through all that. But, um, you know, I worked hard and tried to stay professional, and I've been very lucky this, this far. Wow, how do you get to live in an apartment with eight Brazilians? Yeah. yeah. That ought to be a hoot of fun. I'm telling you, you guys could be makeup artists and put on the lotion on the legs and live in model apartments and be your dream. Dang. How do I get to be a Brazilian? That's my Next question. <laughs> this is really, you had eight people seriously in the apartment. We, we did, yeah. But that's how when you're starting out, that's how that's how you do it. You know, the girls have to kind of pay their dues, and um, luckily it's really cool though because it kind of teaches each other how to sort of like lift other women up. I feel like women get a reputation for being competitive, but in that environment, you, you sort of learn to like find the goddess in each other, which is actually what Venus is all about. So it's the perfect sort of message for me. Yeah, so uh, it's, you know, you've quickly moved forward and everything, but when you were first were discovered, when, this, uh, when the person came up and thought they knew you, did you think it was kind of like somebody putting you on or whatever? I mean, because shopping in the mall, you're just shopping, and somebody says, hey, do you want to go modeling? What was your reaction to that? Yeah, I mean, I, I was very shocked. I was um, not the most attractive teenager by any means, um, but I was tall and lanky, and for modeling, you know, that's, that's the start of it, I guess, initially. So. Um, I, I was very surprised, and basically my mom was like, you know, if you want to do this, let's give it a shot. It can be a hobby of yours, and um, luckily it turned very lucrative, and um, again, I just got really lucky. There's no rhyme or reason to it. I got lucky, and then once I got the opportunity, I just worked hard. An incredible story. I know we got to let you go for a stand-up, but give us uh, uh, all the website information so we can all take care of our bikini. Yes, so you boys take care of your bikini. GilletteVenus.com is the website. There's lots of bikini tips and tricks there, and there's also two other experts that have talk about dating advice and summer fashion styling tips. So all the women, check out GilletteVenus.com. Dating advice, give us one quick dating tip. Oh, gosh. For guys, I think chivalry is not dead, and you should never let it die. That's my main advice for guys. I'm going to start opening that door right away. I'm going to be doing that from the car from now on. Thank you, Brooklyn Decker. Guys. She's the best. It's the 2010 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Cover Girl, Brooklyn Decker, there for you. And uh, he can go out. He's on the stands now. You got kind of nervous bringing it. I thought you collected all those years and all those editions, Paul Stern. Uh, I got a stack for sale that are in the classified ads if you need a mic. That's what I thought. I thought you had them up on eBay. They're there. Anyway, I'll be glad to let you have it after the show. This, no, I don't want the used ones. Uh, anyway, Brooklyn Decker is in this year's 2010 Sports Illustrated Swimsuit Cover Girl. And, uh, like you don't have any used ones of your own. No, I never. I have to go out and buy one now that we've interviewed her. i got to oh, check it out sure, for the no, articles. I think not. there's a story about the Lakers win.